Okay. Ready? Yep. All right, slinging ink here with uh, one of the members of Brief Carolina. What is that? And your name is David. And what do you do in the band? I uh, sing and uh, production of the music. Nice. All right, uh, we have one basic standard question that we ask everybody: uh, Who's your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, you can feel free to name them in the shop they work at. Um, yeah. Um, right now, uh, Michael Farrell. He works at Tribal Rights in um, Longmont. I think Longmont. And um, also my friend Deuce that used to work at that shop. He did a couple pieces on my arm, but he actually lives in Texas now. So when I go in there, then I get tattooed by Deuce. Sweet. And uh, how does it feel being a part of the Fearless Friends tour and playing in your home state, Colorado? Dude, it's awesome, man. Like we we always have a great time when we play here. So, and this this tour has been fantastic. Like just an amazing tour. So, it's two amazing things squashed together. So it's great, great feeling. Sweet. Okay. Um, now, after I was doing some in-depth research about you guys, I was prying into your personal life. Now, um, I've listened to your music before, but I never know that it was just a two-man group. Yeah, well, I mean, it kind of what happened. It's like it started off just me and him, kind of doing everything and um, made all the music. And for a year or so, it was just me and him, and that's how we marketed it, and that's how it was presented to people and everything. And then um, our good friends wanted to come help us out like our live band plays with us our, our dear dear homies at, from Colorado as well so it's you know I mean like in, in pictures it's a two piece but in actuality it's I think we have 11 crew members 11, 11 people that are in the Breathe Carolina family so there's a lot more than just two of us sweet so basically it's not a two man group anymore it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's a family yeah it's a family sweet uh, this is going back a little bit with albums Gossip and it's classy not classic uh, you guys use the software garage band pretty cool yeah um to record your albums um and at the same time you created your myspace profile um now did you expect to, to get over 10,000 song plays in 2008 and then accumulating over uh 30 million plays during 2009 no i mean it was kind of weird because we were me and kyle were both in uh, other local bands when we started this band and our local bands we'd get like 150 like 200 plays a day maybe we thought we were this shit. We're like, dude, this is crazy. 200 plays a day. Like, what the fuck? So we're like, this is awesome. And then the first night we put up uh, Booth Carolina, we already had a bunch of fans like emailing us. Before there was even any music, it was just a picture of us. And they were just emailing us. And, and we put up a song, and it was like, it's like crazy. It was like 1,800 plays like the very first day or something like that. And we were like, Jeez. oh my God. So our other bands were so pissed off at us because. We were messing around. I had like we started this as a joke. Like we just were making random ass songs and um, put it up and it just started getting so much attention. We were like, "Well, it's kind of like here. the female band Millionaires." How like, yeah, they started off as a two person and yeah, kind of definitely blew up. was not expecting it to get to the level it is now. I guess for sure. And uh, your band name, Breathe Carolina. Um, I read that it came from a dream um, that someone had in ninth grade. Uh, can you elaborate more on that? Give more details. About yeah, it? Um, it was me actually. I was in a I was in ninth grade and um, had a dream that this woman, <clears throat> her name is Carolina, and uh, she was actually like in my dream. She was like living my life, and I was like an outside perspective. And this lady named Carolina was like doing everything that I was doing, going through the same like I was going through kind of some rough shit. And I was in ninth grade like like every ninth grader does I guess but you know we go through some shit and she was going through it and I was like watching back and like I was like learning how to like kind of grasp it from her I was like you know what I mean like just calm down like try this try that and I was like just breathe Carolina like just chill out just calm down just breathe and then um, I had it ever since I was in ninth grade and we started this band right when I graduated high school and I was like you down because we didn't have a band name we weren't even going to make one but we just decided to I was like you down breathe Carolina and he was like yeah I was like alright cool there we go <laughs> Nice. Now, during the making of your music video, uh, Diamonds, which had appearances by Millionaire, um, Josh White from the um, Umbrella uh, Clothing, and This City is Burning Records, how was it filming the video and working with the acts that way? Um, he was up there a minute ago, I'm not sure though. What's up? Sorry. That's cool. Man. Um, during the making of the music video, Diamonds, which had appearances by Millionaires, Josh White from Umbrella uh, Clothing, and This City is Burning Records, how was it filming the video, and how was it working with the acts that were in uh, it? was awesome. Our boy Robbie Starbuck directed it, and we just kicked it, dude. We got covered in paint and had fun. We called our Millionaires and our girls from California, and they were home, so we are like, you guys want to come in? And they're like, yeah. And then Josh, Josh White is actually our tour manager right now on this tour. Oh, nice. And he uh, runs Umbrella Clothing and stuff, so... 
he's been a good friend for a long time, so he came out and dude, it was a good time, man. We just kicked it. It's kind of sucked though because it was really cold in LA that day. It was like like 30 degrees or something, and we were covered in paint. So to get the paint off, we had to go outside and use a hose. And so it's freezing cold, and we're getting sprayed with freezing cold water, trying to wipe paint off of us. And it was just like, oh my god, it was terrible. <laughs> that was the worst part, but other than that, it was great. <laughs> Now, in 2009, uh, why did you guys decide to leave Rise Records and join the uh, Fearless Records? And how does it feel knowing that you're a part of a great indie label like Fearless Records? Um, I mean, what happened with Rise was we were getting a bunch of different offers from other labels and at, at, before we signed to Rise, and we didn't know what we were going to do. And Rise sent in an offer that was amazing <laughs> offer, and it was a one-album deal. So it was one CD, and then we were done. So we um, did that, and then uh, one of the A&Rs at Fearless hit us up and was like, yo, like, we, we want you guys, like, when you guys are done with Rise, like, come to us, please, we'll take care of you guys and shit, so we were like, alright, let's do it, and we, you know what I mean, we, we had uh, offers from all the, all the other labels, but Fearless was just, like, seemed like the most legit label at the time of, like, you know what I mean, bands that we liked and our friends were on it, and so we were like, cool, let's do it, signed it, and so, and I love being a part of Fearless, they're a really good record label. Nice. Now your uh, current album, Hello Fascination, which also the song Hello Fascination is a featured track playing in the background of the current promos for NBC's The Jay Leno Show in September of 2009. It was also featured in MTV's The City and your song I'm the Type of Person to Take It Personal being featured in the, in the city's season finale in December of 2009. That's a pretty big accomplishment for, you know, let alone a, a two-man band, which yeah. now you guys are like family. Uh, I mean, how does that make you feel that you've gotten this far, especially as being a local band from Colorado? Dude, it's it's kind of crazy, man. It's hard to, like, it's hard to really understand it. You know what I mean? Like, we're just watching TV, and then our song comes on the television, and we're just like, what? Like, the first time I actually heard it on the Jay Leno show, I was, we were here. I was at a liquor store down the street buying some alcohol, and I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I know that song. <laughs> I, mean, I woke up and it's the Jay Leno. It was the first time. It was the first and only time I've ever seen it. So I was like, "Oh wow, like, this is crazy. It's, it's weird. It's hard to really like grasp. Like I don't really think it's real. <laughs> it's weird, but it's cool. I mean, I'm stoked. It's just crazy. Sweet. Um, now on your Japanese edition of Hello Fascination, there is a bonus song, Have You Ever Danced, which features David from Every Avenue, Jeffrey Star, and Austin Carlisle, who was formerly of Mice and Men and Attack Attack. How was it working on collaborating on this song, and is there a plan to have a U.S. release for you so your fans can have it? Yeah, um, um, it was awesome collaborating. Like all three of those are, all three of those dudes are really good friends. You know, you've been friends with Jeffrey for a long time, and Dave from Every Avenue, we toured Every Avenue like five times, and Austin's my boy. So it was really cool just chilling with everybody and being able to like ride together with like other people that aren't in our band and. Um, and actually, uh, that song is out in the U.S. now. It's on a, a deluxe edition of Hello Fascination that came out in America, and it has like 19 songs on it. It has like three remixes, and it has a cover we did a while ago. It has that song, and then a really, really old song as well. So Sweet. Yeah. And last but not least, any big plans in the future? You guys got any new albums come out? Any other tours, music videos, side projects? And um, you also I pretty much answered my question about the clothing line. And um, I just want to also let you know that your song on uh, Punk Goes Pop Volume 3, Down by Jay Sean, is a pretty badass song. Yeah, dude, yeah, thank you, man. It was, I mean, it was great fun making that song. And, um, yeah, we're, um, we're after this tour, for this friend's tour, we're going to Japan for a week. And then um, we've actually, we started recording our next album. We're halfway done, so we have half nice. the CD written. We're going to go back in January and write the rest of it. And then after that, we go to Australia for Soundwave. And then after that, we're not quite sure. There's talks of tours, but we don't know for sure yet. So pretty busy, I guess, you know, flying around and shit. And so. if uh, you can just do me one favor and uh, just give a shout-out to uh, her nephew, uh, Butch. He's a big, big fan. What's his name? CJ. Well, CJ. <laughs> CJ. All right. What's up, CJ? It's David from Breathe Care. Saying what up. Thanks for listening to our music. It means a lot to us. Stay up. Sweet. All right. Thank you for <laughs> uh, yeah, slinging it, man. Hell